Today we're going to talk about brain cancer or brain tumors. There's several different types of brain tumors and it's important from the beginning to understand whether the tumor we're discussing started in the brain. We call that a primary brain tumor and the most common form of that is a glioma. Or if the tumor spread to the brain from somewhere else and we call that a metastatic brain tumor. Those often spread from other types of cancer like lung cancer, breast cancer, or melanoma. However, any sort of tumor can spread to the brain. This video is going to focus on tumors that started in the brain rather than those that spread from somewhere else. We'll have a separate presentation available to talk about the metastatic brain tumors. Now there are about 75,000 primary brain tumors a year in the United States. That's approximately 25 tumors for every 100,000 people. About one third of those tumors are malignant or cancerous tumors. Unfortunately, about two thirds of the tumors are benign tumors. Again today, I want to focus my comments on the cancerous or malignant brain tumors. As a doctor who treats patients with malignant brain tumors, I'm interested when I meet a new patient to learn many things about them and then about their tumor. The most important things for me to know about their tumor are the grade of the tumor and the type of the tumor. So let me explain that in a little more detail. We traditionally grade the tumors on a scale of one to four. And the grade one tumors are the lowest and the grade four are the most aggressive. In general, the grade of the tumor tends to track with the age of the patient. So younger patients in their teens or 20s are more likely to have a grade one tumor. The grade two tumors tend to occur in the 20s and 30s. And the grade three and four tumors tend to happen in people who are older. Grade is certainly a very important thing to, to know about a patient and their tumor when we're deciding on treatment and trying to give the patient information about the tumor. The other important thing to know is the type of tumor. There are two main types of tumors that occur in the brain. The first are astrocytic tumors. That's one type of tumor in the cell in the brain, the astrocytes. And the other are oligodendroglial tumors. That's a couple of big words that even I struggle with. And so we frequently call these the A's and the O's, the astrocytes and the oligodendrocytes. And those two types of cells are just cells that support the tissue in the brain. The most important cells of the brain are the neurons. That's what makes us think and run and be ourselves. But those neurons need help from other cells, and those cells are called the glia. And the astrocytes and the oligodendrocytes are just members of that glial family. So for every patient I meet, once I get to know them and learn about their story, I want to know about their tumor, what's the number grade, and then what is the letter, the A or the O, that goes with this. In general, the lower the number and the more O in the tumor, the better we are. So a grade 2 O tumor at the outset would be easier to treat than a grade 4 A tumor. Now the naming of brain tumors can get very confusing very quickly, but there are probably a couple other terms that would be useful for you to know as you learn about brain tumors. Grade 4 tumors are often called glioblastomas, or abbreviated GBM. And so the grade 4 tumor, or the GBM, is the most aggressive tumor. And the low-grade tumor, the grade 2 tumor, would be the least aggressive tumor from the spectrum of grade 2, 3, 4 tumors. We've talked about a number of different kinds of brain tumors. Uh, pr these primary brain tumors that can be grade two tumors, grade three, grade four, and can start from either the astrocytes, which are the, o, the A's, or the oligodendrocytes, which are the O's. All of these tumors, regardless of the grade or the type of cell, have treatment options and uh, modalities that can be used to stop their growth. Some can be removed, others are treated with chemotherapy, some are treated with radiation, and many receive a combination of this. Regardless of what type of tumor you or your family member or friend has, there's likely to be very good treatment options available to them, and we'll get into that in just a minute. 